guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what we are switching to for science for this upcoming school year. And we have picked Science Shepherd. So I'm super excited about it. And Science Shepherd was nice enough to send me level A and B so I can show you guys a little flip through of it so you guys can see all what's inside. All right guys, so this is Earth Science Workbook level A and I'll go ahead and do a flip through so you guys can see all of what's inside of it. This is the contents page. So it's gonna show you everything that the kids are gonna be learning about. They'll be learning about glaciers and geology. Let's see over here, volcanoes. I know the kids are gonna be excited about that one. Fossils, um, ocean currents, water pressure, hurricanes, introduction to clouds, the climate and critical thinking, parts one through five, energy. And then you're gonna to go to this page, which is gonna show you how to use the workbook. So it's just breaking down the different question styles that they're gonna have, true and false, and multiple choice, fill in the blank. And level um, A of this book is gonna be for grades two through six. So this is probably on the lower elementary if I, if I had to guess. That's kind of how I would use it if I had younger elementary. Level B is gonna have just a few more questions on there for that upper elementary grade level. The activities are gonna be the same. So your kids will watch the same video and then they get to do the same activity together, which I think is great, especially for parents that have multiple kids at different um, grade levels. And the word searches are gonna be a little bit um, uh, bigger fonts and they're gonna be a little bit less words. They'll have to look for in level A. And crossword puzzles will be the same. They just have less words to fill in. All right, and I'll go ahead and show you level B. All right, guys, this is level B. So this is the one my kids will be using. So they will be learning about the same things that you just saw in level A. The only thing, one of the things I noticed is different is down here it shows class 60.1 or 60.2. They have the same thing over here for 35. And it just goes a little more in depth than it would for thin level A. And at the beginning of the book, it's the same thing. It's gonna show you the different styles for the questions. And so from level one, this one just has some more questions and their puzzle is a little bit bigger. But same activity as the other one. And I'll show you a side-by-side -side for like each class so you can see the difference. Here's the difference. So this is level B and level A. So you see how like the font is just much larger. They have fewer questions and their crossword is smaller. Go to the next page. So class 28 and class 28. They both do have extra credit which is the exact same, which is great. But um, it's just smaller font on this one and just more questions. But overall, I really like it, guys. I'm excited to see how this all works next year because the kids have not done video lessons before. So let's go ahead and look at the answer key. They're basically the same thing for level A and B. They make it very easy for you as the parent to just quickly check all their answers. I love that they show you the word search because trying to find the word search, like that could take you a while. So it's just easier that it's like, okay, you got them all, great. And level B is gonna be the same thing. They're gonna show you all the word searches, the answer to the crossword puzzles, and yeah, they break it down really simple for you guys. So that is a flip through. All right guys, when you go on scienceshepherd.com, you're going to click on my courses. This is obviously after you've purchased, you'll click on resume course. Their website's very easy to navigate, especially for your child, it's, it's gonna be easy for them. So the first thing over here in this corner, they will have getting started printable schedule activity supply list. I would recommend printing out the activity supply list ahead of time so that way you know what they're gonna need. And then they have it by week. So let's take a look at glaciers. They would click on that and click on class 17.1. And I'll show you a little bit of the video. There are two main types of glaciers, alpine glaciers and ice sheets. 
Alpine means mountain, and so the glacier formation process that we've seen a couple times with a glacier forming in the mountains is an example of an alpine glacier. And they are glaciers because they have the two characteristics of glaciers. They form from snow and they move. But alpine glaciers are only found in the tallest of the mountain ranges, the Rocky Mountains in North America, the Andes in South America, the Alps in Europe. Thanks again for watching guys and I really hope you enjoyed this flip through of Science Shepherd. And I do have a discount code in the description box that will get you 10% off your order if you purchase from Science Shepherd. And thanks again and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're using for science. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.